Hey guys, welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast video and today we have uh, another aircraft from Hobbymaster from the 172 Air Power Series. It is a Eurofighter Typhoon and um, this particular Typhoon here is from the RAF and this is an aircraft that's uh, painted in a special uh, colour scheme to commemorate the 75th anniversary of the Battle of Britain. And uh, it's been painted in the markings to match that of Flight Lieutenant Nicholson's Hurricane, who was um, a Victorian cross winner during the Battle of Britain. He was uh, actually wounded and uh, his aircraft was badly damaged. It was on fire in a, in a dogfight. And he was actually bailing out of that hurricane when an enemy aircraft actually came in, came in front of him. And so he uh, proceeded to climb back in his hurricane and uh, shot down the Mr. Schmidt and then continued his bailout and jumped out so he actually um while he was parachuting down he was actually getting shot at by home guard because they actually thought he was a german pilot uh coming coming down to ground so uh yeah all right we'll, we'll uh get this box open and have a look at this Eurofighter typhoon so this is a typhoon out of the box it comes in a hobby master phone box so it does have it stand here and a set of detailed instructions just removing these tabs here and we can check out this beast and oh let's see it is a uh, a gorgeous color scheme i i bought this off a uh, seller on ebay for 110 dollars and that was including the delivery so it does come with its uh baggie of uh, armament and um landing gear uh, sort of modules obviously this is a display aircraft so it won't be fully uh kitted out or anything like that with any major ordnance so we'll get this aircraft out and it does pull out nicely out of this foam box we will get rid of that and check out this that is fantastic and as i said this was um this is the color scheme of uh james nicholson's hurricane um and uh actually james nicholson would actually unfortunately be killed just before war's end on the 2nd of may in 1945 and uh when uh, he was in a raf b24 liberator um just as an observer and the actual aircraft unfortunately caught fire and crashed into the Bay of Bengal. Uh, so that was un unfortunate. Uh, his actual body was never ever recovered. Uh, but um, this is to, um, yeah, this is his, his aircraft uh, marking. So the, all the lettering and all the markings and everything was what was on his actual hurricane. The details on it are really nice. We'll have a look on the side there. As you can see, that it's got a little. Um, sort of a it's got a little uh devil devil emblem we'll just have a close look at that the devil emblem on there it does have those details to commemorate um flight lieutenant nicholson's aircraft because that that, that actual symbol was on his hurricane as well zoom back out so it's but i think overall it uh it does present well you can have a little look inside that cockpit you can see the nice details in there. Put that back in. But I think overall, this is uh, another nice example. It's um, it's the, the as I said, this paint scheme is really nice. I, I I like this. It does does suit this aircraft quite well, actually. Oh, I think it comes up really nice. We'll have a look. Um, we'll have a look closely at those panel lines. And as you can see, very well detailed. Hobby Master, as per usual, do some fantastic aircraft. The details are really well done. We'll have a look at the tail. You can see the markings, some engine detail. I think it's fantastic. We'll circle around quickly and have a look at that. That that is really well done. What we'll do is we'll uh, spin it over and go inverted and have a look underneath. And those, yep, lines are just great. Fantastic detail, nice and deep. It does look really nice. So obviously it's in um, in flight mode, so it does have the uh, gear doors in. But uh, no good looking at all like this we'll kit it out and put some landing gear on it so here we have it all kitted out <sighs> hobby master goes together beautifully drop straight in the gear modules just drop straight in bang bang um the ordnance on each wing there just goes bang bang straight in 
And the same with the central uh, pylon ordinance that just drops straight in. Um, the only thing with this too, yeah, if you want to put it on the stand, you've actually got to remove that ordinance to place it on the stand with this one. Um, I think this is an older Hobby Master one as it, as it came in a foam box. Um, and it actually had some instructions, so <laughs> this might be a, an old issue. I think the newer Hobby Master ones don't come with sort of with instructions. You've got to look them up online. But we'll have a real good look. The wheels do not, they do not roll. They are in a fixed position. And um, I, I think it uh, comes up nice. I think it looks really good. I don't have an issue with it whatsoever. I think this is a, a really cool rendition. As I used to say a lot, uh, it is a nice bit of kit. <laughs> And uh, I think this this does look magic. This is a really nice uh, nice color scheme on this. I I am definitely happy with this one. I think it is an absolute ripper. This is fantastic, and hopefully you guys do too. So uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll put it on the deck. This is a little bit smaller, so we do have to zoom in a fraction for you. But uh, yeah, no, I reckon it's cool. Hopefully you did too. So yeah, this is uh, by Hobby Master. It is from the 172 Air Power Series. It is the Eurofighter Typhoon from um, the RAF, and it is in the commemorative colour scheme to commemorate the Battle of Britain's 75th anniversary, and it is in the uh, colour scheme of Flight Lieutenant James Nicholson's Hurricane, who was a Victorian Cross winner during that conflict, during the Battle of Britain engagement. All right, guys, thank you so much for checking out another one of our videos. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and if you did, throw us a like that would be awesome and if you haven't uh, already subscribed feel free to do so that would be appreciated as well all right well i'll chuck up some pics of this and you can see without my sausage fingers in the way and uh hopefully you did enjoy the video thank you once again for spending the time with me you guys have a fantastic rest of your day cheers guys